The Elgovis Awards honor outstanding work in algorithm visualization. The first annual Elgovis Awards go to six winners from among 14 nominees selected by the Elgovis Project Steering Committee. The final winners were determined by the votes of AV users and developers who rated the selected AVs on a scale of 1 to 5. The six winners of this year's competition will become the first inductees in the Elgovis Hall of Fame a list that will grow as new awards are given each year. Two winners were selected from each of three broad categories. Standalone AVs on the lower division topics, standalone AVs on the advanced topics, and online tutorials or hypertext books. Our first winner in the category of standalone AVs for lower division topics comes from Virginia Tech. It demonstrates the Radix sort. Users may begin by selecting the number of digits in the key values and the number of values to sort. A random set of keys is then generated. This AV allows the user to control the pace of the presentation, which shows each phase of the Radix sort process, from generating counts for each digit value to moving keys to the output array. Each presentation step synchronizes a message on the left with action on the right. Users may generate as many random key sets as needed. This visualization provides a good demonstration of the algorithm that is easy to follow, but it doesn't permit much user interaction. It could be used as part of a lecture on Radix sort or as a supplemental study aid. One key feature of this AV is that it is a Java applet embedded on a web page. Many users are resistant to downloading and installing software, so AVs distributed as applets tend to gain more acceptance. Our second place winner in the lower division category also demonstrates a sorting algorithm, the quicksort. This visualization is part of the Algorithms in Action project from the University of Melbourne. Algorithms in Action visualizations are delivered as Java applets on the AIA website. The applet launches several frames, including a message frame, a pseudocode frame, and the main visualization frame. The pseudocode display for AIA is more sophisticated than for many other systems in that the code can be expanded to show more detail from a high-level description down to the actual program code. This in turn will affect the level of detail shown in the visualization frame. Notice that when the partition step is expanded, the details of partitioning are shown in the visualization frame. Once closed, a step of the visualization does the remainder of the partition step all at once. Users may choose to turn on a quiz to test their knowledge, thus providing for more interaction with the presentation. first place winner in the category Standalone AVs for Advanced Topics is part of the Alvi system from the University of Florence. This visualization of an algorithm for finding the closest pair of points was the highest rated of all AVs in the competition this year. Alvi is available as a JAR file that may be downloaded and run locally on a user's machine. Once the closest pair's presentation is selected, we see the left section depicts the points in this example. We see the right section shows pseudocode and we see a message pane at the bottom that gives step-by-step -step descriptions of the action. The user may step forward and back through the presentation. She may also at any time reset the presentation or skip to the end. This AV makes great use of color and other visuals to indicate what is happening in a complex algorithm, such as highlighting specific lines in the pseudocode or emphasizing certain points or regions in the plane. Alvi can also export visualizations to QuickTime or Flash for distribution and also provides for each topic a supplementary presentation. Finally, it also allows users to construct their own input sets. The second place winner in the Advanced Topics category is an AVL tree visualization, part of the Tracklo system from the Helsinki University of Technology. Tracklo is widely used in computer science classes in Finland, and this AV shows why it is popular. This visualization, like several others, shows pseudocode for the data structure as well as graphical action. This pseudocode, as well as the message pane at the top, may be hidden as desired. Perhaps the most significant aspect of the checklist system is that it affords a great deal of user interaction. Users must drive the action forward by dragging elements into the tree and rotating branches as needed. These mechanics are simple enough to help with understanding without becoming too repetitive. Users may check their progress at any time during the exercise by pressing the grade button. They may also see the correct series of steps by pressing the model answer button. 
Users have the option to see a CAN presentation if they wish, like with many other AVs, but they also have the opportunity to test their proficiency with the topic. Our two winners in the category of online tutorials and hypertextbooks both provide more sophisticated pedagogical support than many of the standalone AVs that we have seen so far. Both have been classroom tested. The first place winner is an extensive tutorial on the binary heap data structure that uses several embedded trackle visualizations. The tutorial is designed to fully introduce students to the binary heap. The tutorial begins with a discussion of priority queues, which may be implemented quite efficiently as binary heaps. It explains how heaps may themselves be implemented as arrays, giving both textual and graphical representations of the data structure. It also briefly describes the differences between min heaps and max heaps. AVs come into play in section 4, which explains heap insertions. A visualization demonstrates how values inserted into a heap may bubble up to their correct locations. As in all trackable visualizations, the user can directly manipulate the data structure as it is being constructed from the input values. The users may press the grade button to see how well she is done. Pressing the model answer button will display not only the correct sequence of steps, but also the applicable pseudocode. Trackable visualizations are also used to demonstrate restoring the heap property after a deletion, building a heap from a table of random keys, and heap sorting. Our second place winner for online tutorials comes from Virginia Tech. This tutorial provides a detailed introduction to and discussion of hashing. It has been field tested in classes and is shown to perform better than standard lectures. The tutorial first explains basic hashing concepts, notably hash functions. It then proceeds to explain several common hash functions and provides demonstration visualizations for each function. These AVs allow users to input their own values, thus controlling the data stored in the hash table. A test mode is also available through which users are asked not only to input their own data, but also to choose which bin in the table the input will hash to. Users can get computation help and hints in the message pane in test mode. Similar applets are used to demonstrate collision resolution methods. A number of analysis applets are also provided that show how various combinations of hash function and collision resolution method compare performance-wise. In this example, we analyze how well a simple mod function performs as a hash function. The closely clustered red bars represent performance with datasets of a uniform random distribution. Each table slot has a generally equal chance of being used. The blue bars represent performance with exponentially distributed datasets. They are spread out, which indicates that some slots are more likely to be used than others, which leads to more collisions. The six winners of this first AlgoViz Awards competition reflects a truly diverse community, with winners from four countries and presentations on a wide range of topics. They vary from slideshows on specific algorithms to interactive tutorials on major topics. We hope that the AlgoViz Awards can stimulate improvements in AV offerings by showcasing the best while encouraging developers to do better. You can check out the winners yourself or view our catalog of over 500 algorithm visualizations at the AlgoViz portal at algoviz.org.